there were a few things I forgot to add in that video with the Dynamis Alliance combat flathead screwdriver. So I'm going to start out with this one in case I don't get the draw exactly right. But when you go to draw your firearm, sometimes if you have a sheath like this, like I, I've been using CNG holsters for a while now, uh, this holster sometimes when you go to draw the clip, won't always catch on your pants, especially if you're wearing like joggers or um, basketball shorts or something more flimsy instead of having a proper belt and like blue jeans or Dickies pants or something. So if you draw your gun, a lot of people, they just say that they're done, they're gonna give up. But, you can pull your holster off like that and throw it at your assailant and then you have your firearm drawn. Um, this is unloaded. Um, also, these clips on the Dynamis Alliance sheaths or I'm gonna do a review on this soon but this Turner CNC Elvia knife the pocket clip or the clip on it is very strong and they can actually catch on things so, not a lot of people will address that or talk about it, but <clears throat> while I was working one day, I was carrying a container with a bunch of scrap metal in it, and the clip actually ended up snagging onto that container, and I got stuck holding on to this container, I actually ended up getting myself free uh, without having to have someone help me, which if that was a firearm, say that you had a clip similar to this on um, whatever you're carrying, I think they have them for the SIG P365 and the Glock 19, so that's something to be aware of. Make sure that you're conscious of what you're picking up, you know. I mean, that was a freak accident, you know, and hopefully that doesn't happen again, but it's something to be aware of, kind of like with um, <clears throat> these necklaces and stuff, too. Examples of this. This is the Ed's Manifesto Scalpular, I believe is how you pronounce it. It's got these two magnets, and in theory, you can use this as a garret, or you can cut yourself out of zip ties if you needed to. Uh, you just loop your hands into this or put your feet into it. And loop it through. <clears throat> the downside to this necklace is that the breakaway is on the bottom portion and there's nothing on the back here so if this got caught in any machinery or you know like a lathe or something it'll pull you into it and there's no getting out of that that's gonna pull you right into it Especially with this being like a Kevlar string, that's not going to break away. Whereas <clears throat> the ball chain for like dog tags, I carry this sometimes. It's a dope, dope, dope knife. And 
if this were to ever get caught in something, it would break away. <clears throat> then I also have this Turner CNC, um, it's a little razor. And I find that this is pretty convenient for like opening boxes and stuff. <clears throat> and it's more, you know, it's more people friendly or sheeple friendly, you know, instead of pulling out Dynamis Alliance blade or anything tactical, you can pull out something like that or like the, a slip joint and it's easier in my opinion because it frees up your pockets you don't have so much on you or sometimes i'll carry the little pop knives <clears throat> uh one of the last things i was going to talk about in that video too with these style of knives i don't think i'm going to have that problem with this because it's so deep into the sheath but i've actually had i had a uh cheap kitchen knife that I got from Walmart and the handle actually ended up catching on my laundry basket and it started coming out of the sheath that I had set up and um, that's not something that you want to happen either you know so uh, just being aware of these small things that can happen with your gear you know actually i had this as well uh, when i was carrying i had a uh, uh smith and wesson bodyguard a 380 and i was outside playing with my dog and the retention on the holster i had it was another cng holster it um it actually ended up coming out of my my holster and I ended up dropping it but that gun is very safe uh, I think that's a great gun to start with because it has such a heavy trigger pull and then it also has the safety on it and you know if you wanted you really wanted to be safe you could carry without one in the chamber but I don't necessarily recommend that you just need to know that you gotta have a good tight retention on your holsters I don't generally like having the leather holsters I had a Galco holster that was actually pretty easy to conceal because you could tuck your shirt into it similar to this I was carrying my Glock 42 and that and that was a great way to carry as well but it didn't have the um, The mag release covered like this one does so this button would be depressed and i'd find the magazine coming out of it so theoretically i'd get one shot off and then i'd have to go to my spare mag you know so i think a lot of people have misconcepts of what <clears throat> they think is going to work and if you're not actually out there carrying your stuff and using it you're not going to know all these things so uh, it's, there are a few things that I wish I had known about um, when I first started carrying and um, yeah I, I'm still learning but I think I've come a long way from where I was uh, this is going to start being my new carry knife. Uh, this actually, the clip on this is, it's weird. I've had it come completely off without, with the holster on. And then I've also had it where I went to draw and I just shredded my pocket. So... Um, again, with that knowledge of being able to, to know you can grab this and take the sheath off with your off hand, you know, uh, 
it's another thing to think about too, you know, if that's going to be your, <clears throat> your offhand deterrent weapon, you know, to, to keep your firearm contained on your person if someone's trying to grab that. Uh, you're not going to have an extra hand to draw that with, so you need to try and think how you're going to, how you're going to defeat your attacker if you, you're going to have your one hand containing your firearm and then you're going to have this in your offhand, and I'm going to assume most of my viewers are left-handed, but, um, you know, you could use this as impact as well. I mean, that's not going to be comfortable for you, but it'll give you a little bit of time so you can get your opponent off of you and <clears throat> get back to business, you know, and draw your fire on. Um, all right, I'm going to let you guys go, but I thought somebody might take something away from that. Take care. Have a nice new year.